What's up guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, we are going over my gear bag. More of, it's a box. Uh, what's in the box? What's in the box? This is my $250 Amazon mystery box. No, it's really just a hard case. Um, I think it's a Lycus, but it's, it's pretty good because you know, Pelicans are like $600 in this size. And uh, this one's got wheels. It, uh, it's got a nice handle, it extends and the depth is pretty good. Um, a few things that I screwed up on are not knowing what I wanted to fit in this box first. This is how it, it's laid out. Um, it comes with foam, but you have to cut it out yourself, which is also another downside of not buying a Pelican. Um, so originally I thought I was gonna put my gimbal in the bottom, but I didn't. And now the bottom doesn't do anything, but everything's on the top anyway. I've kind of went through and minimalized my setup so I can kind of just take this anywhere and be ready for anything. I'll just start at the batteries. So this is what powers my whole camera setup. It's a little 99 watt hour v-mount battery which i have got recently haven't seen that yet on this setup and i have a backup one just for the monitor in case and then i also keep um, two spare camera batteries just in case i have a small rig tool which i broke recently by accident um, one snapped off when i was tightening my monitor but that was my fault honestly this thing's super helpful very recommended let me uh lie that out for you nicely I've got two blowers because I thought I lost one and I ordered another one. I've got a little accessory pack that has Allen keys and stuff in it, but I have the small rig tool, so I don't really use it anymore. Um, I've got this, which has all my mat box items. So I've got different adapter rings that go inside the mat box for different lenses. I've got my camera here, which is a Panasonic Lumix S1H. This is how I have it set up in the box. I just pull it like pull it out like this and then uh, it's pretty much good to go out of the box and unless you want to start adding stuff but um, I'll throw the v-mount on there for size this is how it usually goes I have the flip out screen on the side always because I need to still use that when I'm uh, using a monitor and if you flip it in it just gets trapped and then you have to take off the v-mount plate which sucks I've got my Peak Design strap here if my arms get tired, which happens a lot because I don't hit the gym enough. But um, yeah, this baby's a lifesaver. Matt actually bought this for me on Secret Santa? I think so. Or birthday? Yeah. I'm not sure, one or the other. I've got a cheap little $10 white balance card here. There's no auto white balance, so I need to use this. And it's just nice because it's in a small form, form factor. Going over the attachments for the camera, the top handle here, which is an RE mount top handle, so it has the locking pins and super handy, pretty cheap, does the job. Got my small rig follow focus when I'm using my cine lenses, which also comes with any lens adapter. Pretty nice. I've got my side handle here, which I don't use too often. And then Matt had a spare monitor mount that also goes to Ari's. Got all my filters here, so I'll just pull those all out. ND, variable ND, probably for my old Sigma 18 to 35. I've got another variable ND for my 24 to 70. No, this is for my GH5. Uh, another variable <laughs> ND, like I think it's only a three stop variable ND for my 24 to 70. I've got a polarizer, Tiffin Black Pro Mist, and an extra case in case I need to put any filters in there for whatever reason. Um, I've got some step up rings. Um, and then in the bottom, there's just like a wall plug and like extra rails and stuff. I never go in the bottom. Main piece, the piece de la resource. Atomos Ninja V, which is like my favorite monitor for this camera because it allows you to shoot raw and it's touch screen and it's kind of the size of my phone. And the quality is like, so I love it. But on the back of that, I don't use the uh, Angelbird SSDs because they're way too expensive. This is a two terabyte Samsung SSD in the carrying caddy that comes with the monitor. So I literally haven't formatted it yet and I've been on plenty of shoots since I got it. I'm getting close, but I'll have to format it this weekend for a short film. I've got the DC adapter plugged in from Atomos so I can use the V-mount battery with it. D-tap to DC. Uh, that A random headphone bag that I found that actually fits perfectly and then I have a little HDMI in there that I use to connect it. This is a Peak Design EF lens adapter for the belt. So you can actually clip lenses onto your belt, which is pretty sweet. I have this guy if I ever need to charge things because it's got three outlets and two USBs, pretty handy. And then a bunch of step up rings and 
some various chargers. But other than that, uh, I usually keep my V-mount charger in here, but it's out right now. It's right here. It's just the USB-C, which is nice because if you have a V-mount setup, you only need one battery to power your entire rig, so. And then last but not least, I have my small rig mini mat box. One of my favorite pieces because it protects the front of my lens. Um, I've never been able to slide filters in here because they're just way too expensive. So I use the adapter rings to kind of just put circular filters in there. But other than that, that's kind of my compact setup here. Boom! That is my entire camera setup that I take on a daily basis, excluding my tripods and gimbal and lighting and sound and all that shit. But we can get into that in the future, but this is kind of what my run and gun setup looks like. I can bring it anywhere and be fine for any situation. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll do lots more like this and we can go over gimbal setups and lighting setups and sound setups, but yeah. Let me know if there's anything else you guys think I should include in the box or if you have any suggestions on other boxes we can use here at uh, Deadline Marketing. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.